Today we will take a look at how the telephone has evolved from its earliest prototypes to modern smartphones. Hello, this is Lily. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. While you do that, I will tell you the story. In 1876, at the World's Fair in Philadelphia, Alexander Graham Bell presented his invention called the telephone. With its help, people could have conversations at a distance of up to 250 meters, and it operated solely through electromagnetic induction. In 1878, a second wooden transmitter receiver was added, which could be held in the hand. There was no longer a need to use the same instrument and move it from mouth to ear. In 1886, a transmitter for longer distances was introduced. Previously, long-distance service required special receivers connected to specific circuits. In 1897, the desktop telephone was introduced, featuring a new design that would be used for the next 30 years. In 1921, the telephone received a number dialing system, where a rotary dial had to be turned to a specific position, inserting a finger into holes with designated numbers. In 1928, the telephone was the first to combine the receiver and transmitter into a single construction, the telephone handset. In 1964, the telephone replaced the rotary dial with buttons, significantly increasing the speed of number dialing. In 1968, a telephone was introduced with buttons integrated into the telephone handset. Additionally, asterisk and grid buttons were added to access advanced features. In 1983, Motorola released the first mobile phone, the Duna TAC-8000X, which allowed users to connect to the telephone network without the assistance of a mobile operator. In 1992, Nokia 1011 was the first mass-produced mobile phone that supported GSM, a global standard for digital cellular communication with channel division based on time and frequency. In 1996, the Motorola StarTac was the first mobile phone to feature vibration as an alternative to audible ringtone. In 1997, the Siemens S10 became the first mobile phone with a color display, capable of showing only three colors, red, purple, and turquoise. In 1999, the Nokia 7110 was the first mobile phone with a WAP browser. The Benefin ESC was the first mobile phone with a GPS navigator. In 2000, the Sharp J SH04 was the first phone with a built-in camera, sold and operated exclusively in Japan. The Ericsson R380 was the first device officially referred to as a smartphone. It combined the functions of a phone and a personal digital assistant, PDA, with control through a monochrome touchscreen, either via a keyboard on a flip cover or a stylus. In 2001, the Samsung SPH M100 became the first mobile phone with an MP3 player. The Ericsson T36 was the first phone equipped with a Bluetooth module. In 2003, the Calypso C1250 was the first mobile phone with a Wi-Fi module. The Nokia 7600 was one of the earliest 3G smartphones. In 2004, the Nokia 7610 was one of the first mobile phones with a 1 megapixel camera. In 2005, the Sony Ericsson K750i was one of the first mobile phones with a 2 megapixel camera. In 2006, the Nokia N73 was a 3G smartphone with hot swappable mini SD memory cards, supporting a maximum capacity of 2 gigabytes. It featured a 3.2 megapixel camera. The Nokia 6131 was the first phone to have NFC functionality. In 2007, Apple introduced its first smartphone, the iPhone, which revolutionized the mobile phone market. It featured an accelerometer for screen auto rotation and a capacitive multi touch display. In 2008, the HTC Dream was the first smartphone to run on the Android operating system. In 2010, the iPhone 4 introduced the Retina display, which was considered the best display at that time with a pixel density of 326 ppi. In 2011, the HTC EVO 3D was the first smartphone to be equipped with two primary cameras, enabling 3D photography. In 2012, the HTC J Butterfly became the first smartphone with a full HD display. In 2013, the iPhone 5S was the first smartphone to feature a 64-bit processor. It also introduced a fingerprint scanner called Touch ID, which later became widely adopted by other manufacturers. In 2014, the Samsung Galaxy S5 introduced a built-in heart rate sensor. In 2015, the iPhone 6S introduced 3D Touch, a technology that recognizes different levels of pressure on the screen. 
In 2017, the iPhone X was one of the first smartphones to feature a bezel-less design. The camera and earpiece were moved to a notch, setting a trend among other manufacturers. Instead of the fingerprint sensor, Face ID technology was introduced, which can scan the user's face even in low-light conditions. In 2018, Vivo X20 Plus UD became the world's first smartphone with an under-display fingerprint scanner. We have come a long way from that point to this.